Hello everyone and welcome back to another reaction video from your boys at the Dragon Raider Podcast. We are Hero and Jordan and today we are reacting to the death of Master Roshi. So let's just jump straight into it. Three, two, one, go. This is during the Tournament of Power arc, of course. He's such a boy, isn't he? This was one of the most emotional episodes in maybe all of Dragon Ball for me. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. It's very unexpected. I didn't see it coming at all. I didn't see it coming. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I thought he was literally just going to chuck that Kamehameha out and that would be it. Not like... Well, the further they got, the more I thought he's actually dead. He's going to die. Yeah. <sighs> Such a throwback to original Dragon Ball when he teaches Goku and Krillin that. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps now just watching it again. <laughs> it's so good. I love Master Roshi. Hench Roshi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then this is when I thought, that's it. He's, he's dead. Imagine if I'd actually done it, though. I wouldn't have even been mad about it. Even though I love Roshi as a character, I wouldn't have been mad if this was the way that they killed him off. No, we're not. <laughs> Like the fact this was such a emotional episode because of this, and then they bring him back to life. They can't ever kill him. They can never ever kill him. <laughs> yeah. It won't be more emotional than this. I love how they actually like. As if it's like. As if, as if that's CPR. <laughs> yeah. This would have been the perfect like, way to like kill off Master Roshi though. I would have yeah. been fine with it. I imagine how much different Goku would have fought and knowing that Master Roshi is fully dead. Yeah. But no, he's alive. It's almost strangely disappointing. Yeah. They could have still had him with King Kai just chilling up there. They didn't yeah. need to remove him from the show. Plus, Dragon Ball. Yeah, <laughs> but him being dead right now, I wouldn't have been mad with at all. Yeah, his time finally come. Yeah, even if they did remove him from the show, they, they never show him up, up on uh, with King Kai on his planet. Like, he is just gone. I wouldn't even mind because that emotional episode, like the whole episode is based around Master Roshi there, but even just the end in there, it was a great way to end him as a character all the throwbacks to krillin and goku in original dragon ball everything he says and does his biggest kamehameha ever that type of thing him even going hench for the final time <laughs> it would have been perfect i wouldn't have been mad in the slightest it was brilliant yeah no it was um it did detract him a little bit but it was still seeing it for the first time though it was it did come out of nowhere yeah um, it did so it still had a lot of impact the first time, but mm -hmm. afterwards it was kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. That was a bit anticlimactic. Yeah, when I think about <laughs> it now, it's just like, oh, yeah. it would have been better if he did die. No matter how good he is of a, of a character and how much it would have been like, oh, no, Master Roshi's gone forever. It would be like, yeah, this is the perfect yeah. way for him to bow out. Well, but I mean, he did have some good moments later on with Frost and everything like that. There were some interesting moments still. There were. 
But this he still should have went out. Yeah, he still <laughs> went out there. <laughs> yeah, he should have. Like because the whole rules of the tournament were: if you kill an opponent, then you're also eliminated. This no one dies throughout the entire tournament. If Master Roshi died here, that would have been okay. We filled that quota to see what happens if someone dies, and he would have been eliminated, and that would have just been down a member. And yeah, it would have been the only death throughout the whole tournament of power. It would have made sense just to show one person dying throughout this tournament, just to see, yeah, just to see, yeah. But he didn't. Yeah. He survived, and he's still around. Which I'm, I'm, I'm fine with him being around. But now they can't ever kill him because nothing will top that moment. He's never gonna have so many references, so many throwbacks, and such an emotional moment as he did here again. It's true. Yeah, it's true. So he's, he's around. The boy. He's the boy, the yeah. turtle hermit. <laughs> the turtle hermit, the turtle master. He's around forever now. But yes, if you enjoyed this reaction video anyway, please like it up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Leave some comments for what we should react to next. And other than that, we will see you all next time. See ya.